How can you find Ruby gems for web applications? This is Asia G from the Full Stack Videos channel. I recently released a video titled What are Ruby gems? Just to recap, when developers come up with a useful feature, they package it up as a Ruby gem and they make it available for everyone else to use. Thousands of developers have created thousands of gems. Part of being a successful Rails developer is being a good gem hunter. Ruby gems are all stored on the server at rubygems.org. You can visit rubygems.org and search for any gem by name, but you have to know the name already. In a minute, I'll tell you how to search for gems you need. But when you know the name of the gem, you can look on rubygems.org to find the information about the latest version in the project. If you don't know the name of the gem you need, you can search in Google. For example, if you want to add maps to your Rails web application, you can search Google for the words Ruby gem maps. Sometimes you'll find a gem in Google, but it's better to try Ruby Toolbox first. Ruby Toolbox organizes gems by type, and if you know what kind of gem you're looking for, you can find a list of similar gems and compare them. Ruby Toolbox shows which is most popular, but you'll also want to evaluate if it's suitable. How should you evaluate a gem? Finding a gem for what you need is only a start. Ruby Toolbox can give you some information but often it's best to look at the GEMS repository on GitHub. Take a look at the README if there's documentation, any tutorials, or blog post. If you're looking on GitHub, is it actively maintained? What was the most recent commit? When was the most recent release? And are there many open issues that have not been resolved? In addition to Ruby Toolbox, check out the project called Awesome, which collects curated lists of resources on GitHub. There are several collections called Awesome Ruby, one with charts and graphs is trying to replace Ruby Toolbox, and you'll find it at ruby.libhunt.com. But what if you want to know which gems are most often used by Rails developers? Take a look at some of the Rails starter applications you can find in GitHub. I recommend the starter applications from the Rails Apps project. Take a look at the gem file for any of these starter applications and learn more about the gems that you see. There's another place you can look. Once a year, there's a hackathon called Rails Rumble. Every year, the organizers analyze all the applications built during the hackathon and provide a list of popular gems broken down by type. You can search in Google for Rails Rumble Teardown. In 2015, a Rails Rumble team built an app just to track popular gems, and you can see the results at the website gemsavvy.tips. I recently created a video about how to get help with Rails, and I mentioned Reddit and Quora as places you can go with your questions. If you can't find the gem you need, you can try asking on Reddit or Quora. The best way to learn about new and useful gems is to subscribe to the Ruby Weekly newsletter from Peter Cooper. Go to rubyweekly.com to subscribe and you'll get a weekly email newsletter. If you have time, I recommend checking Peter Cooper's Ruby Flow website every day at rubyflow.com you'll find announcements of new gems as well as interesting blog posts. If you're a subscriber, I'd like to say I appreciate your support for the project. To get more videos like this and learn about our project, send me an email. The address is more at fullstackvideos.com. Come back for more!